On the Pfizer vaccine news, rightfully dominated the headlines today, the MBTA board proposed several cuts that would greatly change service. Yeah, from the commuter rail to the green line, everything would be impacted. Boston 25 News reporter John Monahan, you're live at South Station, a place that's usually pretty busy. Well, Vanessa and Mark, we all know that rush hour is no longer rushed. South Station empty tonight. That's because there are a lot fewer riders taking the T. That has left them with a nearly $600 million budget shortfall and taking a hard look at where they can make some cuts. This is the final stop. Last stop for ferry passengers at Long Wharf. But it could soon be the last stop of ferry service altogether. It'll impact my commute significantly. Orla Delgado works at Mass General. She relies on the ferry to get to work. But proposed MBTA service cuts include the ferry. Getting from Hull to Boston at 6, 7 a.m. is actually a 70 to 80 minute drive. The T blaming COVID and a drastic reduction in ridership across the board. It's dropped 80% since March. 1.3 million daily trips in March of 2019 have whittled down to 330,000 daily trips in September of 2020. So the T proposes cutting weekend commuter service, cutting 25 bus routes and ferry service altogether, as well as subway service after midnight. From our perspective, these proposed service cuts are catastrophic for the people who depend on the MBTA system. Stacy Thompson from Livable Streets, which supports affordable and convenient transportation, says those cuts impact the people who need the tea most, like essential workers. They are the people working at grocery stores. They are the people working at hospitals. They are the people keeping our economy going, and they desperately depend on the MBTA. Most cuts would not happen until the spring, but Stacy and other transportation advocates say the state legislature is debating the budget this week, and they are hopeful the state can help to make up some of that shortfall. Mark? John, these are proposals. What options is the state giving riders to speak up about their plan? Well, Mark, they're having a series of virtual public meetings. The first one of those is actually tomorrow night. Back to you. All right, John Monahan. We're supposed to give a 30-day notice for any public hearing. This is so much fucking bullshit. Governor Baker has been dying to privatize the MBTA. It's fucking crazy.